right here, beautiful friends. This is just to show you my my gorgeous little hen. She's been lying on eggs, nine eggs from the big big black Austral orb. She's been lying for nearly 21 days. She's just so gorgeous. Such gorgeous colours. So she's busy keeping the eggs warm. So we're going to have a look at, at her and what's going on. And this is the way you can see a hen that's broody. They will blow up their, their feathers and make that sound. And they sort of go away from the rest of the crowd, the flock, and sort of do their own thing. And so, oh, what is it? She is. <laughs> She's so cute. Ooh, yes. Very gorgeous. So, and that's what she does when she has her chickens. She sort of looks a bit scary, big and scary. And so that's... And every... She's lying on her eggs all the time and every day. If she could, she would just leave the, the nest herself and go back. But it's a bit of a... Tri it's a bit tricky to, to actually organise a laying hen. I haven't found a really great solution yet. So I go and get her every day and let her off so she can go and do a poo. I have a feed and also she will go and lie in the sand and clean her feathers so she doesn't have any little mites and stuff. They clean that away with the dust. A dust bath she has every day like we have our bath. And it's just so fascinating. We've had chickens for so many years and you just get to see how intelligent they are. I mean, it's just so wonderful. So let's just have a look at some of the eggs. This is just to show you. Here we have a little, this is a little, uh, a young hen that's laying her first eggs. And for the first while, maybe first weeks, it will be quite small and then it grows larger so this is a, a young hen's egg but the bantams also lay quite small eggs but this bantam we have that was the mother of the the ducks last year she's actually lying right there oops I scared her there she is we just scared her Yeah, do so Yeah. And they choose their nest, which can be a bit irritating, but it's a very clear spot here. She hasn't laid her egg yet because you can see there's no real clean egg. So what I do is to keep them laying, just take some of the eggs every day, just leave three. And you can just take the oldest ones, so you just keep eating them. And so here we go. Just have a look. I just disturb them so real. <laughs> they hate you disturbing them when they're laying their eggs. But he was the eggs from before. And this is about the size that the, the huge hen I showed you, the, the black one, the Austral Orb. This is not her egg, it's a bit much lighter. But it's, it's a tiny bit larger than this one. And see, this is the egg from the tiny bantam, which is about probably a fourth the size of the Austral orb. So she's an, an incredibly efficient hen. She's so small and she can make this gorgeous egg that has a big yolk. So, so this was the eggs.
yeah, so this was a little um, chicken video. Uh, yeah, so as I've said to you, my plan this year is to, to make little chickens that are uh, some that are meat breed so that uh, give a lot of meat and some that are good egg layers. And uh, so we'll just see how we go. Just go and have a look at the, the nest that she's lying on. My little hen. So this is the way I've organised it, which is not really very smart. And it won't be long till the chickens come. Actually, you can hear. You can hear the chickens in there. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Praise the Lord. The little chickens are actually calling their mother in there. So they'll be coming maybe during the day or tomorrow morning. There'll probably be a little chicken there. Praise the Lord. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I'll just get close. Isn't that beautiful? The eggs are calling. The eggs are alive. Oh, praise the Lord. Just to say, <laughs> I'll just get, I'll just get in here. See, the reason why I do this, I have this nest here, is that uh, when you have a broody hen. Well, actually, when you uh, want to make the nest, it's a good idea to take a, a, some, um, a big block of uh, grass turf, put it in the bottom and put all the hay on top and arrange it as a nest and put the eggs in that you want her to hatch. And see, the thing is to keep her separate from the others because if she's near the other hens, she will, she will lie there and they will come and disturb her, maybe lay a new egg and uh, and she will jump off maybe and find another nest, lie on that and when you come back all the eggs are cold. So the thing is to keep her away where the others can't see her and that has <laughs> is a bit tricky. So um, I'm going to have to see if I can find a better solution. Maybe you have a good solution. But I like the hen to be able to go out outside. See this is the outside. She goes out here. has her grass and it goes out with the others. I like that, that she's not inside the, the whole, it's 21 days she's lying on her, on her nest. Uh, so this is the way I do it and I have a little sign so when I take her off I go and put, this, put the sign on my kitchen table and then I have to remember that within an hour or two that she's back on. And she's worked out this system so she, <laughs> she jumps onto this box and gets in here. Here's my little sign. I just want to show it to you. It's so sweet. I bought it on Holy Island. So I just put this on the table here and leave it while she's out. And when I've put it back in, or she's, I can see she's back on her nest. I put it back on the wall and I know she's on her nest when she's hanging there. <laughs> Great system worked out this system so she <laughs> she jumps onto this box and gets in here and then I shut it down I shut down the lid so that the other hens can't get there so but the best thing would really to have a little fence here she comes oh she's so gorgeous here she comes oh, she's gonna be happy tomorrow when her chickens come Sweet. <laughs> She's so 
sweetie. <laughs> there comes the rooster. And he will be very protective. We'll see them tomorrow when he sees the chickens. A healthy hen, a, ha a rooster will be very good to the chickens. So in here, I'll just show you that this is where this is where we collect our eggs. The the chook house is in, on the other side of this wall. And here are the hens lying there. So they're lying in here, and that was very smart to make this because my husband he gets easily gets these little these <laughs> they don't like to be disturbed these little mites on him and they bite him. So all the the brown eyed people in our family, they get these mites on them and they bite them at night so they have all these red mark, itchy marks all over. So <laughs> the fact that they don't have to go into the hen's house is helpful. Uh, so anyway, uh, there we go. There's our little chickens coming. So see you my friend.